look at this fucking bathroom. Uh, my fragrances, but uh, yeah, this shit. Oh, this is this is too much. The moral missing thread. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. Um, this is this is gonna be a different video. I know I always say that, but this one, I, I need to I need to tell you all what has been going on. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. This is gonna be a really dark video. <laughs> so yeah, I've been gone for a minute. You know, uh, some of you saw that I posted recently the uh tribute video to my cat ishan who recently passed um that was hard that was real hard um but you know let's let's backtrack a little bit so my birthday was in july the very end of july july 30th to be specific i am a leo uh i'm sure that has some relevance uh at some odd point in time in my story um but yeah so Oh, yeah, it does right now. So, my mom, my mother, uh, my beautiful, wonderful, awesome mother. She's very cool. Um, she She's always, like, so much more excited about my birthday than I am. Like, she she loves my birthday. Um, you know, I, I, I think she thinks that I'm, like, the greatest accomplishment she ever made. Uh, which is weird. I, I don't get it. But, um she was really excited she she told you know my cousin or her neighbor or her best friend you know she wanted to have this cookout for me you know she lives almost an hour from me and not quite an hour but close but you know she lives more towards the mountains and you know so there's a river nearby you know i live like in the city um but uh, you know i i enjoyed coming to visit her because you know around me there's there there's no like greenery that's it's I mean, I'm in the city, you know, uh, but her, you know, she's, she's got all these like tree. I'm looking out the window. There's a thunderstorm coming. Uh, you know, she's got all these trees, all this grass, this big yard, you know, there's woods everywhere. You know, she's close to the river, you know, she's not far from the mountains and she's got a bunch of cats and, uh, you know, it's just really nice to come visit her. It's a, it's a nice getaway. I love spending time with her. You know, so I was excited about, you know, doing something like coming here for my birthday. Like, I, I wanted to come spend my birthday here because, like, you know, generally my birthdays don't mean that much to me, like, over the past few years. And I've spent most of them alone. Um, but, you know, instead, you know, we didn't we didn't do the cookout this year. We, uh, you know, we had, we had our funeral. Um I mean, it wasn't on, on my birthday. It was the day before my birthday. It was about to be on my birthday. You know, the guy at the uh, the funeral home crematorium was like, uh, you know, how's Friday, July 30th sound? And, you know, my uncle was like, oh, can we back it up a day? Let's just do it Thursday. Because he knew it was my birthday. Um, so, but yeah, still, it's close enough, you know? Like, we buried my mom the day before my birthday. Um, you know, and it was just... You know, a few days before that, that, you know, we were, like, hanging out. You know, I mean, it was weird. I took her to, you know, her colonoscopy appointment. and But, you know, afterwards, you know, she was okay. And we came back here and we watched movies and ate pizza. And it was... Well, she didn't eat pizza, but I did. Um, but we usually eat pizza together. She just wasn't feeling it that day, understandably. Um, but... <clears throat> oh, God, excuse me. Um, yeah, so, I, you know, she she left me this house this was uh you know she always she always told me every time i kind of came to visit she was like the mother she was like this is this is your house like you this is your house too like you don't ever have to ask for anything or whatever she was like you know you, you live here if you want to repaint anything or bring any furniture here or whatever you want to do and um 
So that's what, that's what I'm doing now. I'm here in this house because, like I said, she she had a lot of cats. She she rescued a lot of cats, and I know they were her whole world. She loved those cats, and those cats loved her. And um, you know, the the next morning, uh, animal control showed up here, and uh, they were like, "Yeah, we came to get the cats." And I'm like, "No, no, no. This is my house. These are my cats. I'm staying here. I'm taking care of these cats." And that's what I've been doing since she since she passed. Um, but she was uh, she was in a lot of pain. She was uh, she was real sick. Uh, she's in a lot of a lot of physical pain. The healthcare system was not doing enough for her. Um, you know, even pain management wasn't really much of an option anymore. It was so bad. You know, she had already survived like vasculitis, neuropathy, some rare rare liver disease, um, cancer, fucking uh, diverticulitis, and you know, then the last thing was gastroparesis, and. Uh, you know, she told me on numerous occasions, she told a lot of people, she was like, you know, if if I keep having these these attacks to where, like, I can't hold anything down and I'm just constantly throwing up nothing and I'm just on the floor in fetal position and fucking crying in pain, she's like, this is worse than childbirth. Like, I've never felt this pain before. And, you know, given everything she had already been through and the pain she had suffered for years, for her to say that, you know, she was like, I, I would... Honestly, I would rather kill myself than go through this again. She was like, I, I probably will. And I didn't, I didn't think that she would actually do it. You know, I thought that, you know, it's just something people say when they're in a lot of pain. Or when they're really, really, really depressed, you know. I mean, I've been suicidal and I've tried to kill myself before. I wasn't in physical pain. But, you know, me, my mother and I both are bipolar. My grandfather, I believe, was bipolar. Um... But, yeah, you know, uh, you know, she did. She uh, she took her she took her own life. She was in that much pain, and uh, I'm still trying to process it. It's it. I don't I don't know what to think or how to feel right now. This is a. Uh, I mean, it's 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 been a month, but uh, I'm still. I'm, I'm still not right from it. Like, being in this house is like so, so depressing. Um, and with all these cats, like, I mean, they're not all inside. Just two of them are, but um, there were four. Ishan being one of them, I brought him from, you know, the city with me up here, and he, he, he had a stroke in my arms. Uh, I was about to leave for work. Same, same thing with my mom. I was about to leave for work. And, uh, you know, my cousin called. She's like, don't go to work. Or no, she's like, hey, Damien, I need you to come over. I need to talk to you. And I'm like, I'm about to leave for work. She's like, don't go to work. Don't do that. She's like, you need to come here. I need to talk to you. And I know there's no way she would say that to me unless it was something serious. So I went over there, and she's just like, you know, sat me down. She's like, Damien, I'm so, so sorry. Um, but, you know, my neighbor, my neighbor found her. Uh, it was like literally right. She did it right before I was about to leave for work. I mean, not not that that was like her intention or anything like that. You know, it's not like, oh, Damien's about to leave for no. I mean, I I don't think that. Um, I'm just saying the timing that there. That's when it happened, and you know, uh, her. Well, my neighbor now, but it took over a week. It was literally it was it was almost two weeks before I actually uh, got her phone. And the note back from uh, the detectives. Um, and that was that was difficult, knowing that there was a note and I, I couldn't see it for like two weeks. That was really jarring. Um, but you know, they they had to keep her phone and the note for evidence um, because of how she went. Um, But yeah, then uh, you know, like I like I said, I, you know, I've been trying to process it, and uh, then then, you know, I was about to leave for work one day, and I was saying goodbye to Ishan, you know, because I had taken a couple of weeks off, you know, after mom, but it was like my first or second, it was my second night back to work after being off for two weeks, and 
you know, I'd said goodbye to Ishan, and I'd, like, pet him and everything, and I was about to walk out the door, and, and he started meowing real loud from the bedroom, like, real loud, like, I'd never heard him meow like that before, and it startled me, so I ran back in there, and he looked like he was, like, stuck to the carpet, and I thought maybe his claws had gotten stuck in the carpet, and he was, like, trying to get it out, and it was hurting him, um, so I tried to I tried to pull, pull, you know, gently get my fingers up under his paws to unhook his claws, and his whole body was just stiff, and he just was like kind of contorted, and his tail fluffed out real big, and he just gasped and went limp in my arms and just died. Um, and that really fucked me up, especially just right after mom, like, I still, like, I mean, it's just, it's so fucking surreal. Like, I, I open the door, you know, I, I come back and I open the door and I expect to see him. And he's not there, you know. I see anything online related to Game of Thrones and I want to talk to mom about it. And, like, get call her in the room and show her and I realize she's not fucking here. I don't have mom or Ish on anymore, you know. And it's like... I, there was used to be, like, when I, before I got, like, on good medication and got, like, a good doctor and, like, really got myself figured out, you know, those were, like, my two reasons, my main reasons for living was, one, I, I didn't want to cause my mom that kind of pain because I knew she was already in enough physical and emotional pain that the death of me would probably end her, so I didn't want to do that, um, and then I couldn't imagine Ishan like going to like a shelter or to another family or anything like that. Like I did, I didn't know. Like I, I couldn't imagine like doing that to him either. So like you know those were my two main reasons for like not killing myself. And then here we go. My mom did, and then my cat died two weeks later. I had a stroke in my arms because he was. I I'm assuming it's because he was just miserable here. He didn't want to be. But my mom used to, like, beg me all the time. She's like, you know, bring, bring him up here. You know, I'm like, hey, he's going to hate the other cats. He's not going to want to be here. And she's like, well, you can just put him in the back bedroom. And he can have that whole room all to himself. And, you know, that the back bedroom is where he went and died. But, I mean, luckily I was there. But still, that's where he was. And, God damn it. But it's just, you know... I, I didn't even have time to get over Ishan and Jet died. Jet was one of the in one of the other indoor cats. He was a black cat as well. There was four, including Ishan, initially when I first moved in here in July. Uh it was Cersei, Jamie, Jet, and Ishan. Um Cersei was a little kitten. I mean not a little kitten, but she's she's about maybe three months old now. Um you know, she was a rescue. She was found on the side of the highway all by herself. She was just a little... You could put her in the palm of your hand when she first got here. Um, and I was here when, when my mom rescued her. Um, and Jamie was uh, a long... Or is a long-haired black cat. And, Jamie, and Cersei's a black kitten. Uh, Jet was a short-haired black cat. Looked very much like Ishan. He looked a lot like Ishan. Um... And he was just the sweetest, most affectionate thing ever. And, uh, you know, he just, he got real sick. Um, he had real bad anemia and his heart rate was really low and he just, he didn't. I took him to the emergency vet two nights in a row and uh, they did everything they, they, they could. Um, he just, he didn't, he didn't make it. And, uh, you know, that was, that was, that was a lot to deal with right after Ishan and mom. Like, I mean, all this within a couple of short weeks of each other, it's, it's been a lot to try to handle mentally and emotionally, financially, but, you know, I've had a really good support system. I've had a lot of friends who understand that there are a lot of cats here and that I'm in a real fucked situation because I've had to take a lot of time off work, uh, to just try to deal with stuff. And, uh, you know, people have, uh, you know, been Venmoing me, PayPaling me, bringing cat food to the house, sending cat food through Amazon or Chewy, 
Uh, so it's been great. I mean, I've gotten like cat toys. I've gotten cat food for the kittens. You know, kitten food, big bags of cat food for the the indoor and outdoor cats. Um, you know, I just still I'm going through it like crazy because you, you'd be surprised how 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 quickly you know a, a big bag will feed that many cats. I mean, how quickly they'll go through it. Um, but yeah, so that all has been going on. Um, you know, and all that, you know, it happened just right after I got over the COVID, you know, and I, I went and finally, I got my vaccine, uh, the other day and, uh, you know, that's when Jet died. Uh, I got my vaccine and, uh, you know, I was under the assumption that, you know, because I had had the Delta variant of COVID that, it, you know, it wouldn't hit me, you know, the vaccine wouldn't, I wouldn't have any side effects, but I was, I was way wrong. It was the exact opposite. Uh, it fucked me up for like three days. Um, I was real, felt awful. Um, I, I, and I couldn't go to work. Um, which is fortunate because I was here to see that Jet was failing and, uh, was able to get him somewhere, even though he didn't make it, you know, at least I had the opportunity to try. I didn't just come home to a dead cat. I, I don't think I would have been able to handle, handle that, but, uh, I got Ishan's paw print on me. Um, and I got him a nice marble, black marble urn with his name engraved on it. And it says, my big, sweet, handsome boy. Because that's what I used to say to him every day. And I've got Jet in the little kitty cemetery buried out back. Because that's where all of my mom's rescues, the ones that didn't make it or have been hit by cars or, you know, have just died of whatever, you know. She's got a little kitty cemetery out back. You know, I didn't want to bury Ishan here because I knew he wasn't happy here and this this wasn't his home. You know, this isn't where he spent his life. So I had him cremated so I could always have his ashes. Um, but yeah, my mom had, we had her cremated as well and she had a beautiful blue marble urn and we buried her with my grandmother and grandfather because, you know, she my grandfather loved me and my mother both immensely and he always encouraged us artistically and creatively and uh, I knew she would want to be there with him um, so but you know a few of us got a little little pinch of her ashes so I got a little tiny green jade um, urn for her for the ashes that I have here because like jade and emerald and everything were like her favorite colors um my grandfather was also a lapidary artist you know he did cut and polish gems and stuff and made jewelry um restored classic cars uh he was a painter or like an artist painter like real depressing paintings but um I, i'm getting away from the point but yeah uh that's uh that's what's been going on uh and my car you know isn't it's in the shop now i was going to get a bunch of stuff the other morning for the cats and my car started fucking up and uh it turns out like all my brakes were gone my front axles need to be replaced the cv joints and boots need to be replaced serpentine belt need to be replaced uh, i'm not gonna have my car back for another day or two um so i'm like stuck out here like just, there's a storm coming um but yeah, so I, you know, I, I just wanted to say, uh, in the in the description um, of this video, there will be links to my Venmo and my PayPal and my merch store. Uh, any anything anyone wants to contribute or purchase from the merch store, any money that I get is going towards a fund to take care of all these cats. That is my main concern right now because, like, as far as I'm concerned, with the house and everything else I got going on. Uh, in two weeks, I'm going to be able to actually take out a home equity line of credit and do the, the renovations that I, I want and need to do to this house. So that that's covered. Um, but, you know, these cats, I'm going to I'm going to need I'm going to need help with. I can't I can't afford it just on, you know, what I make at my job uh, with everything else, because I'm still still paying on my lease in the city as well and all my utilities everything there as well too uh as well as trying to keep everything here on and functioning and 
it's just it's it's I don't know uh but yeah so on a lighter note uh, and what to expect in the future I am going to return as soon as I can renovate and change a couple rooms up and make them suitable for filming I want to have a room that or at least a wall or you know a space where I can I can dedicate two reaction videos and then another one I can dedicate to like fragrance doing fragrance reviews and stuff because I want to do that um but you know I've got a list I've got a bunch of, of cool stuff uh coming that I, I want to do I want to do uh Mayhem, Through the Oculus, Ginger, Spirit Box, Cradle of Filth, Wolves in the Throne Room, Slater, Banks, Lingua Ignata. Uh, you know, I've got a, a whole list. I mean, that's not even all of them, but that's some of the stuff to look forward to that I've got coming. Uh, Sick Brain, um, Maggie, I forget her last name, um, and some other smaller artists even. Um, you know, and there's still some messages on Instagram and, like, Twitter I haven't gotten to yet from bands. Um, but, yeah. So, you know, I've, I've got I've got stuff coming and there's fragrance reviews that I want to do. And there's some vlogs I want to do um, just about topics. Some controversial, some that just, you know, mean something to me and I want to speak on them because I never do that. But um, if anybody wants to help out, like I said, it's tremendously appreciate it and i can appreciate your continued support and you know watching my videos and liking them and commenting it all means the absolute world to me especially right now so thank you and uh, i hope you'll stick around and if you're new i hope you'll subscribe i know this is a really fucking depressing video and i'm sorry but you know i needed to let everybody know what was going on why i haven't been uploading and what to expect because i will be again it may just it may be another month or two before it happens but you know if i if i have an opportunity to pop in and do something between now and then you know i will you know even if it's just another little update video but you know i love all of you thank you and um you know in the meantime i'm gonna go <laughs>